we going to do for Sunday in your mind? Uh, I'm not so sure. I know the Falcons play on Sunday. 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 Wait a minute. Wait, where are you going? Oh my gosh, it's time, it's time, it's time. I'm definitely out of here. I can't be, I can't be late, I can't be, I can't be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <sighs> it is time. It is time, 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 it is time for the week one matchup versus the Philadelphia Eagles. And yes, I am even wearing my white jersey because I'm pretty sure we're wearing the white jerseys in this game. And so therefore, I think whatever jerseys the Falcons are going to wear in the game, I'm going to rep in the game preview and recap. Even though I don't have the gradient jersey and the throwback jersey, so I'll have to get that at some point. Anyway, you guys are here to hear the game preview for the Atlanta Falcons versus the Philadelphia Eagles. Well, let's get straight into it. But before we get into it, I do have to let you guys know how these game previews are going to work. And if you have been on my channel for a long time, it works exactly like how it did in the past. First, we go over summary to the matchup, which means we describe the story for both teams entering the game so you can kind of get a better understanding of what their motivation is entering the game and what they're fighting for. The second thing we go over is what to watch out for from the opponent. Of course, this is what we're going to go over for uh, what the Falcons really need to prepare for against the opponent and what is really good on the opponent. So basically, the opponent's strength. Then the third thing we go over is possible breakouts for the Falcons. So either we go over a unit on the Falcons that is just, no matter what strength slash weakness the opponent has, I think the Falcons side of the ball here is gonna break out no matter what, or we almost kind of go over the opponent's weakness. Like, yeah, uh, this opponent's secondary sucks, so the Falcons receivers could break out, if that makes any sense. And then, last but not least, we go over how the Falcons can win the game. Pretty, like, self-explanatory. All right, now this video is actually gonna be the most unique game preview I've ever had in my entire life. And it doesn't just start with summary to the matchup. We're gonna get into why it is also unique later on. But let's go over summary to the matchup. I know I literally just explained that we go over the opponent story and then we go over the Falcon story, but these two teams honestly kind of have the same story entering the season. So I'm gonna tie these two teams' story into one. Both these teams had, let's just say, a very disappointing season last year. And, you know, both teams' Super Bowl runs not too long ago, the Falcons in 2016 and the Eagles in 2017, they have taken a huge fall from grace. I think that is pretty fair to say. Both teams have not been the same since their Super Bowl runs not too long ago. I mean, the coaches that they had were not the answer all along. It was actually both Sides of the ball, it was their offensive coordinator that was low-key kind of doing the work. And then just the defense is sort of falling apart and just, it's a big mess. And so both teams had to kind of overhaul the coaching staff and get in a lot of young guys. So both teams entering the season are trying to just figure out what to do on offense, what to do on defense, get the coaches some experience, get the young guys experience. It's the same thing. But who is going to come out on top? and get the big thumbs up for the new guys in the roster. Well, for this video, of course, I hope it's the Atlanta Falcons, but let's go over what should we watch out for from the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, here's another reason why this game preview is unique. What we have to watch out for on the Eagles is also something that we don't have to watch out for, and I'll kind of get to why that is later. But the first thing that I really, 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 really think we need to watch out for from the Eagles is the quarterback play. Now, I know you guys are just dying to hear me say that Matt Ryan is so much better than Jalen Hurts and Gartner Minshew. And while I do believe that is true, what I mean by that is technically we don't actually have film on these guys for 2021. Like, you know, if they played at all in the preseason, we got that. And, you know, they played last year, so we technically have film, but not really. We don't have regular season 2021 film. So, 
If Jalen Hurts is any good in the 2021 season, unfortunately, we don't have any tip on how he does this year. So we gotta prepare for that. But what if he stinks? We don't have Gartner Minshew tape either. What if they uh, have Jalen Hurts start and then he sucks and they put in Gartner Minshew? That is gonna be a big problem if we don't prepare for any of those two quarterbacks. If Jalen Hurts is really good and we didn't prepare for that, or if Jalen Hurts is gonna be out and then Gartner Minshew comes in, we didn't prepare for that when things were going well, when Jalen Hurts sucked, we gotta prepare for both quarterbacks. The Falcons are usually not very good with that in the past. Kinda take a look at the last year's game versus the Bears. We were doing really good when Mitch Trubisky was doing bad, and then he got out of the game, and we were not prepared for Nick Foles, and Nick Foles won the game for the Bears. So, you gotta prepare for both quarterbacks no matter what. And then the second thing you need to watch out for is the line play on the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, our pass rush versus the Eagles offensive line, I think it's just kind of what it is. You know, if Grady Jarrett and Marlon Davidson, how he's looked in the preseason, you know, there's some potential there. If they do well against this Eagles offensive line, then so be it. But if the Eagles offensive line does well against our pass rush, then so be it. But there's something that I'm not really feeling so confident is gonna go well in this game is our offensive line versus the Eagles defensive line. And I don't really think this is gonna be a, it's gonna be messy on Sunday is what I predict. Because with how we played in the preseason versus Fletcher Cox and company, Jalen Mayfield, I do like him, but he hasn't really looked good that so, uh, he hasn't looked good so far. And then Matt Hennessy hasn't really been proven yet. There's just a lot of no names on that offensive line against Fletcher Cox and company. Ugh, I don't think this is gonna go well for us at all, but we have to watch out for the line play. But here's why we're gonna explain why what we have to watch out for on the Eagles is also something we don't have to watch out for. So the first thing that could possibly break out for the Falcons is the secondary. And it's not even just because I don't really know if Jalen Hurts and Gardner Minshew are necessarily proven. So, you know, if both quarterbacks are to do bad, then there you go. But another thing, one thing that's been holding this Eagles team back throughout the years is the lack of receivers that they have. And um, they did get Devontae Smith, but even still, he's a rookie. So we don't even know what he's like yet. Um, but the other receivers, even Zach Ertz is kind of declining. If you count him as a receiver, he's a receiving option. Get out of the way. If you count Zach Ertz as a receiving option, then this is not, you know, the greatest receiving core. So I think with an unproven quarterback play and a unproven receiving core, this secondary should do well, even though it's Isaiah Oliver. He has stuff to prove, but it could do well. And then the other thing that could possibly break out in this game, of course, the passing game, because why not? It's Matt Ryan with Arthur Smith now, Calvin Ridley, Kyle Pitts, and the Eagles secondary, which is actually not very good, despite the fact that they have Darius Slay, this is an obvious breakout for the Falcons. It's, that's just, it's obvious. But ultimately, how do I think the Atlanta Falcons can win this game? I think it's actually somewhat simple. First, you need to prepare for the quarterbacks because I don't want Jalen Hurst to throw dimes across the Atlanta Falcons field. And if he sucks, I don't want the Atlanta Falcons to be unprepared for Garden Gartner Minshew and he throws dimes across the Atlanta Falcons field. I don't want that. So you have to prepare for these quarterbacks. You also have to put in a lot of pressure on those quarterbacks. You know, I'm not like entirely worried about this receiving core from the Eagles. So as long as you put pressure on the quarterbacks to where they can either make a good throw, I mean a bad throw, and they barely have anywhere to run, then I'm okay with that. The Falcons are usually very good with blitzing anyway, so why not? Then the third thing is to just keep on scoring. The Atlanta Falcons are guaranteed to score a lot in this game. They should be at least. They're probably going to score a lot and a lot and a lot. But no one's really sitting here saying that Jalen Hurts and Gartner and Minshew are guaranteed to score a lot and a lot and a lot. So if you put in pressure on those two quarterbacks while uh, continuously scoring, I think this should be a dub for the Atlanta Falcons. And if you're making it to this game, please be loud because home field advantage is much more important than you think. But that is the game preview for the Philadelphia Eagles versus Atlanta Falcons week one matchup. And boy, is it great to be back. 
awesome, awesome time to be a football fan because we've been waiting for not even just football, but for the crowd to come in again. It feels good to see the crowd. So thank you to everyone that's gonna show out. It's much more appreciated than you think, but please be loud. And I'm so excited to break down how uh, what happens after this game on Tuesday. I'll see you then. Rise up.